Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is me, Apostle Esther. I pray that you are already having an amazing day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Just want to remind you that we are here every Monday through Friday, sharing in the good news gospel message of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to thank you for sharing, liking, and subscribing to my content. Uh, we are here on Friday where we are uh, agreeing with you with the word of faith for whatever you need God to do in your life. So I ask that you inbox me or you message me uh, so that we can agree with you with the word of prayer and the word of faith. I know that Apostle Chris and I love you with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. I know that you are already having an amazing day. We're always super excited to share in the gospel message of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that's what we do on this platform. We share the good news gospel message. We pray, uh, we inspire, we encourage, and we motivate. Want to get right into the word of the Lord on this week. You know, this year we, as every year, we challenge our ministry to read the read through the Bible and uh, just let the Lord speak to you out of the abundance of his word. And so yesterday I was just reviewing some things and I uh, was reading back in Judges in chapter 16, and that's where we're going to be teaching, going to go right into the word of the Lord. Uh, Judges chapter 16, I want to read two passages. I want to read Judges chapter uh, 16 verse, uh, let me see, uh, 6, and then we're going to go right over to uh, verse 28 out of the King James translation. Let me read that and just want to share some things with you. Verse 6, And Delilah said to Samson, Tell me, I pray thee, where thy great strength lieth, and wherewith thou mayest be bound to afflict thee. Let me read that again. And, Sam and Delilah said unto Samson, Tell me, I pray thee, where thy great strength lieth, and wherewith thou mightest be bound to afflict thee. Give me the key to your heart, is what she was asking Samson. And verse 28, uh, And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O God, that I may be at once avenged of the of the Philistines from my two eyes. Now, verse six, Delilah has weaved her web into the heart of Samson to find out what the Nazarene covenant is. And she said to him, tell me where thy great strength lies. Listen, the enemy, your enemy, my enemy, our enemy, the adversary sits back and watches the areas that we are empowered in, the areas that we're strengthened in, and that is what he targets to tear us down. So we have to be wise in our walk with God. We have to be wise in our ways with God that we don't give the enemy too much information that he can come back and destroy us. She said to Samson, Delilah said, Tell me where your great strength lies. She didn't, she didn't weave around what everything else. She wanted that thing. She wanted to know what was empowering him with this great strength. And that's what she went to Samson with. And Samson, you know, that's why you can't play with the devil. You can't play pat a cake with him and then try and cast him out. Because several times Samson said, well, if you do this, then it takes my strength. If you do that. And then Delilah said, look. If you really love me, tell me what your secret is. We must know the schemes and the devices, the plans, the weapons of the enemy. And the Bible said that as time went on, Samson said to her, I'm going to divulge to you the thing that empowers me, the thing that strengthens me. Listen, there, there's some conversation that we, we have no business as born again believers even have an entertainer with the enemy. He doesn't need to know where your strength, your power, your victory, your success is. And that's one thing that we really teach uh, in our ministry. Quit telling the enemy your secret thoughts. Quit telling the enemy things because you think that they're your friend. No, the enemy wants to 
strip you down of that Nazarene covenant. He wants to break your fellowship. He wants to break your commitment and your connection with God. And the Bible says that Samson eventually told Delilah what that covenant was, where his strength was. He said, if you cut the seven locks of my hair, then my strength will be gone. And she did that. And she called the Philistine lords upon Samson and found out that, that Samson, that really was where his strength was. The Bible said that when Samson, I guess, came out of this slumber, that's my way of paraphrasing it, that he shook himself and he had no power. He shook himself and he had no strength. In other words, he had given the enemy the thing that he needed to take him out. We need to, instead of giving the enemy the thing that strengthens us, we need to begin to thank God and hide that thing in our heart and not give the enemy things to fight us, things to tear us down. The Bible said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds. So we have to pull down the stronghold of the enemy that is trying to take us out. That enemy, your enemy, the adversary, the devil, the Bible says he goes before the throne of God daily, many times through the day, accusing us, telling, uh, telling God why we, shouldn't be, why we shouldn't be blessed, why we shouldn't be strengthened, why we shouldn't be empowered. But Jesus says, I'm your advocator. I'm telling the Lord they are blessed. They are highly favored. They are strengthened. They are empowered. So we cannot release what we don't need to release to the enemy. We need to hide those things in our heart and know that this is what God is causing us to be strengthened and what God is causing us to be empowered. So the word of the Lord says that Samson had to go back to God. See, isn't that something we can get so far out there, but we have to come back to God, our maker, our creator to get redeemed from the thing that the enemy has stolen from us. And the Bible said that, that Samson cried unto the Lord and said, God, remember me. I pray this one time. Give me back that strength. Give me back that gift. Give me back that treasure. Give me back that thing that I was able to fight the enemy with. He said, if you just remember me this one time, Lord, I'll be okay. But I need to be avenged of the Philistines, of my enemy. Listen, today God wants to avenge you of your enemy. You know, sometimes we give up power and we don't know we're giving up power. We give up those secret things that God has given us and we don't know that we're releasing that to the enemy. But I want to encourage you on today, just like Samson said, God, if I can get back to you one more time, anoint me one more time, refresh me one more time. I need you, oh God, to remember me one more time. I want you to know on today that this is the day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and we're glad in it because God is remembering his people one more time. It's so bad that we have to get to a place of desperation for God to remember us. It's bad that we have to get to a place where we're broken, we're devastated, we've been deceived, that we have to get in the face of God and say, oh God, remember me one more time. And so Samson had confidence that even though he'd walked away from God, that God had not walked away from him and he knew that he could get back to God through prayer. You know, I always say that whatever is going on in my life, I know I can get back to God through prayer. That is a thing that has been a covenant with me and God. I may not know how to do a lot of things, but I know how to get to God. I know how to pray to God and ask God to anoint me one more time. I want you to know it's not too late. It's not over. Amen. You can get back to God. You can pray to him. You can cry out to him and God will redeem you. He will anoint you. He will strengthen you. He will empower you one more time. I love this because in Samson's time of distress, he knew that he could get back to God. He didn't want to get back to Delilah. He just said, God, if you allow me the strength to avenge my adversary, which is um, the lords of the Philistines, if you just empower me one more time. And out of that time of desperation, God empowered Samson that he could go back and he could tear down the enemy's camp. I want you to know today, we should never get in a place of desperation. We should never get so destitute that we give away the treasured thing that God has trusted us with. The Bible says God has given every man a gift and that gift will take us before great men. 
And so we should value what God has given us. Don't be so vicarious with your gift that you just give it to anybody. You lay it aside um, because you're going to need that gift. Oh, that was good right there. You are going to need that thing that God has given you to get through your next dimension, to get through your next walk, to get through your next process, to get to your destiny. You are going to need that gift. It is that thing that empowers you. It is that thing that strengthens you. It is that thing that connects us back to God. Never give away your connecting power. The thing that causes you to be able to walk up right before God. Uh, that thing blessed me on yesterday because a lot of times we just negate everything that God has trusted us that's going to take us from glory to glory, from faith to faith. We negate that thing. We just lay it to the side. You need your gift on today. Let me pray with you. Father, I thank you for every person that is under the sound of my voice. I thank you, Lord, that you will strengthen us. You will empower us one more time. Oh, God, anoint me one more time that I may understand the gift that you've placed, that you've bestowed in my life, that I can go forth and do the things that please you. I thank you, Lord, for saving, healing, redeeming, and setting free. Wash us in your blood. Fill us in your love. Give us a mind to trust you. Give us a mind to honor you in the gift that you placed on the inside of us that we can be a light in this dark place. Father, be magnified, be glorified. I thank you that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, it is acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Lord, let us learn from the life, the history of Samson, not to lay our head in the wrong barber's lap not to lay our gift in the, at the feet of the wrong person. Because God, you're the only one that can avenge us. You're the only one, Lord God, that can vindicate us. And so I thank you for your vindicating power. I thank you for your avenging power on today. Strengthen us one more time. Anoint us one more time. We forever give you praise, glory, and honor. Let all of God's people say amen. Well, you already know. I am always super excited about this assignment, about the word of the Lord. And any time the Lord gives me revelation, I know that he's going to bring manifestation on that word. He is restoring us back to himself one more time. He's bringing us back to the kingdom for such a time as this. Know that Apostle Chris and I love you with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. As always, I want you to have an amazing day. Thank you for sharing, liking, and subscribing. We'll see you back on tomorrow. God bless you.